winter here in Cancun, but still, it's a surprisingly chilly start to the day as we head out from the marina. This is my first time fishing in Cancun, and our primary target today will be a new one for me, the Atlantic Snook. We're going to try for some other species first, while the sun rises higher in the shallow water where the snook lie warms up. The close proximity to Cancun's busy hotel strip soon fades in my memory as we turn and head out towards the open water. What more do we need? Clean water, a fly rod, and an enthusiastic guide. Our first stop is an enclosed lagoon deep in the mangroves. It's only accessible through a waterway cut in the thick growth of the perimeter. It's eerily quiet here as Noel, my guide for the day, carefully navigates his way through the channel. I sit marvelling at the stillness and tranquility of the submerged forests around me. Sunlight occasionally penetrates the mangrove canopy, lighting up the clear green water of the channel. We make the journey almost in silence. The mystique of my surroundings is surreal and I begin to feel a little uneasy. At last I see light ahead as we turn the last corner and head out of the tunnel. I feel relieved, if I'm honest, to be back in the open air. The sunlight is strong and bright and it warms my face. I look up and around and I find myself in one of the most spectacular lagoons I think I've ever seen. It's a fantastic setting and I feel privileged just being here. We spend an hour in the lagoon casting flies into the margins beneath the mangroves. I can see tarpon rolling on the surface and I try to target locations and strip the fly through their paths. It's a wonderful setting to cast a fly here early in the morning. It's calm and there is no one else here. We see a fish or two following the fly, but as happens so often in salt water they spook and are gone in a second. We continue combing the edges and get lucky and hook into a fish we saw break the surface. It's nice to feel a fish. Noel decides it's time to leave the lagoon and see if we can find some snook to have a cast at outside in the open water. I'm a bit sad to say goodbye to the lagoon. I've really enjoyed it here, but I'm equally excited about the prospect of finding some other species and hopefully we'll get lucky again. The sun is high in the sky and it's very warm. It's a relief to be moving in the boat and escape the heat of the day. We spend the day searching the inshore bays and shallows for snook. stop often for a cast or sometimes just to marvel at the wildlife we see along the shores. We have lots of opportunities and shots of snook but they don't seem that interested in my fly. We keep going in the hope of finding a cooperative fish. It's good to remember that we aren't the only ones out hunting today. I think I'll keep my feet firmly in the boat. Time is pushing on but we have found snook lying tight into the mangrove roots. It's tough to get a cast close enough to intercept them without spooking the fish. 
we stay back and throw long search and cast towards the shadows. We work our way slowly along the shoreline, searching desperately for the next target. Now is not the time to be throwing wildly, and Noel encourages me to stay calm. appears. Thankfully his presence calms us and takes some pressure from a frantic pace. I've cast a fly to the left and stripped it close to the mangoes where I could see some snook lurking. A fish was shot from the undergrowth and grabbed the fly. It's on. I can see flashes of a snook's yellow fins. It's what we've been searching for. I'm absolutely delighted and I can feel myself shaking. I just hope we can get this one in. What a stunning looking fish. The yellow and black markings are so distinctive. It's been a great fish to catch. I'll get a quick photo and get him back in the water as quickly as we can. We turn and head home after a great day. The wind and the swell is picking up, so I'm happy to be heading back to the marina. But Noel is not done. He spots a shoal of jacks feeding in a frenzy and we stop the boat immediately. We hook into one on the first cast. These fish are very strong and it's giving a good fight. What a great end to a fantastic day. I love seeing the fish's silver flank shining beneath the surface. We land it quickly and return it to the water and it swims away strong. It's been a perfect day. We've had a few fish and I've seen a lot of wildlife throughout the trip. I have a lot to ponder over tonight. Missed shots on rolling tarpon and snook. Worse still would be my erratic casting at some sultry permit we found gliding just under the surface. There was one species I'm glad kept their distance all day. It's not difficult to guess which one that might be.